Hello, it's John and Lynn again, and today we're going to do a couple things, but uh, the biggest thing is this, snack crate. We got the snack crate in. So, let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn. Okay, um, first of all, I want to say Happy Easter to everybody, because uh, if you're watching it the day that this debuts, it's uh, Easter Sunday. We're actually shooting this on Good Friday, right? And, uh, oh, by the way, speaking of uh, Good Friday and uh, the weather out there, I shot this this morning. Hey, it's April. It's actually Good Friday. And what the heck is this? That's not supposed to happen. Yes, it's snowing outside. On It's April. <laughs> it's Good Friday, it's snowing. But it's all going to melt and that's all going to be fine. But uh, uh, also before we go on, I want to say thank you to everybody. For all the messages we've gotten from our last video about our dog buddy. And uh, we've got messages from, on, uh, on our YouTube channel. We've gotten messages on our Facebook page. We've gotten, I've gotten texts. I've gotten phone calls. Uh, we've got messages on Instagram. We've gotten them from everybody. So um, it, it feels good, doesn't it? Getting all those messages, especially today when everybody's locked up and we aren't interacting with people as much. And my dad called. Yes, and your father called you. And that was very, very nice, wasn't it? And uh, uh, we also got a package yesterday from one of your sisters, your sister my Anne. My sister Anne. Yes, and that's delicious. Thank you, Anne, if you're watching. Uh, those uh, pistachios especially are delicious. So we're enjoying those. Thank you very much. So we got uh, we got a snack crate in, and earlier, about a week ago, we did a reveal. We actually opened this up on the couch um, with what it, uh, well, we didn't know what country it's from. It's always a surprise. So, all right, Lynn, we're gonna we got the snack crate, and we're going to open it up. We've never really opened one of these up on camera before, so we're gonna do it this time. All right. Okay. Okay. This is our newest snack crate. Uh, Justin, what country do you think it is? Germany or Japan? Germany or Japan? And what did I say? You said China. China. Yeah, it's got coronavirus in there. Maybe I should do this with gloves. Why don't you sit up here? We're going to open this up. You open it. You tell me what it is. Ready? This is from Greece. Greece? Have we have done Greece? No, we haven't had Greece. So, it's from Greece! So it's from Greece, and we're gonna we're gonna open it up and everything. And uh, there's a lot of goodies here. Now we're going to I'm gonna hand this over to Justin, and he's gonna start giving it to us. And first, I'm going to talk about uh, this is that um, that. I think it comes and you know, it tells us a little more, bit about the country. And I usually start out asking, what, uh, what is the capital of Greece, you know? Yes, you do. You said it earlier today. You, were, you knew it. So it went A. Athens. Athens. Lynn knew the capital of Greece. Um, Greece is a very interesting uh, country. It was uh, formerly named the Hellenic Republic and historically referred to as Hellas. Greece is, con is considered the crossroads of Europe, Asia, and Africa, and Greece has the longest coastline in the Mediterranean. Greece is considered the cradle of, the West of Western civilization. Greece birthed democracy, Western philosophy, Western literature, political science, theater, the Olympic, the Olympic Games, and major scientific and mathematical principles. Greece has universal health care, and the highest life expectancy in the world. And I like Greek food. We have a, um, 
a Greek restaurant in our area and it's delicious. Uh, Greek cuisine is known for incorporating fresh ingredients and follows what we consider the healthy Mediterranean diet. Many dishes can be traced back to ancient Greece and are now enjoyed worldwide. Now I don't know if all of the delicious treats we're having today are necessarily healthy, uh, but uh, I'm sure they're tasty. So. What is the Let's first? try the first snack from Greece. And there's mini pick crackers. Mini pick crackers. I saw them here somewhere. Oh yeah, they are. Um, um, your favorite pick. These are uh, crackers that are dusted with savory sour cream and onion flavor. And there it is. Right there. So we're going to open this up, Lynn, and we're going to give this a shot. Let's see what this tastes like. Okay. I'm going to dip in there and try one. Tell me what you think. It is good. It is a good. We got some lemonade for Lynn. I have some iced coffee. Keep me going. This is delicious. There's quite a few of them in here too. Mini pick crackers. I like sour cream and onion. Okay, for our next we got jumbo chips. Lynn's grabbing for them already. I already opened them up. Uh, let's, uh, as you try them, Lynn, I'll read this. Thin cut, crispy, crunchy goodness mm. covered in delicious oregano seasonings. These chips will have you yelling, Opa! <laughs> See? Scattered yelling. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Oh, there is oregano. I can taste the oregano. That's different. I don't think I've tasted anything like that before. It's got Greek writing on it, too. Yeah. That I can't read. But uh, I can read oregano. It says oregano right here. So that's interesting. Okay, next we got Crit Sinaki. Crit Sinaki. Don't know what that is yet. Crackers. There it is. It looks like it could be crackers. Crit Sinaki. Let's read about it. Um, bite sized breadsticks with a Bread. king size taste. Enjoy this Mediterranean pesto flavored snack. It's pesto flavored, I know. They like. Uh, that's a basil, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try. There we go. I like it. Yeah, so it's got a. I have a basil, almost pizza like taste to it. Yeah. Very good. Okay, it says you here. Look like cookies. Yeah, they're called Miranda crackers, although if I were to look at the packaging, I'd have no idea what that said. Uh, it's all in Greek. Um, but these are traditional Greek biscuits that combine delicious taste with memories of childhood. Enjoy the beloved classic flavor. And there are three of these in here. So it could be one for each of us. Um, that one broke off. And we'll split one. How's that? For now. Oh no, there's, there's quite a few in there. Okay. These are good. Let's... Yeah, it's like a cookie. I, um... can't say it. It's a taste that I've had before. It's a little bit different. can't tell what that is. Like I'm not good at identifying I like certain flavorings. I'm not a chef. You will like yeah, but it's definitely different. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'd have them again. Okay. The next thing we have is called Macedonia Halva. Uh, although again the packaging I would never be able to read it. I don't know if you I don't know if the camera's focusing in on that at all. But uh, um it's completely Greek. 
about here in the translation says it's Macedonia halva. This halva has been produced the same way for over 80 years. Enjoy the sweet vanilla flavor in this classic and tasty mm. treat. So this is a very, this is a Greek traditional treat. I'm not sure what halva, I don't think I've ever had something that's called halva. Um, but, uh, let's see what the heck this is. It's like one piece, and I will break it off for you. Tell me what you, what you think, man. Mm. I don't know if it's a cookie. It's not chocolate. I don't know what it is, but it's good. It is good. <laughs> it's different. That's a different consistency. We'll have to look that up. See what the heck that is. What is it called? Uh, Macedonia halva, and I'm looking in the ingredients, but it's all in Greek, so I have no idea. But it's good. We just have to have faith. Okay? So there it is. Next is Seven Days Croissant. <laughs> croissant. Which is French, but apparently the Greeks like croissants too. And it says, Fluffy dough with rich cocoa filling. Good enough mm. to eat seven days a week. Enjoy this snack on the go or as a classic Greek this breakfast. This my favorite one. Just save this for breakfast. Huh. Well, maybe we should save for breakfast. We'll save it for tomorrow. No. no? It's, it's a... It's a I'm just going to let you take a bite. Go ahead. You tell me. Mm. Tell me what you think. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm not even going to take a bite. I'm going to wait for your... I'm going to wait for your description. What do you think? It's a croissant. It's a croissant. Is it good? Mm-hmm. All right. With chocolate in the middle. Chocolate in the middle. Okay. Okay, I also want to talk about something else I did this week. A lot of people are home grooming. What's home grooming, Lynn? Cutting your own hair. Yeah, stuff like that. Now, I don't have to worry about that because I've been cutting my own hair for a long time. But yesterday... I gave Justin. Justin's. Yeah, I did with my own clippers that I use that aren't very good, but uh, he said I kept pulling his hair. But I did trim his hair, and he was surprised. It says, hey, it didn't come out too bad. He, he didn't trust me. Um, but it, uh, I just gave him a slight trim. It's a little shorter than it was before, and that worked out pretty good. Also, let, here's a quick clip of my subway. And I'm going to be doing more about this probably in our next video. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my model railroad. Sure. All right, our next. This is a pretty, kind of a nice little packaging. It doesn't really say much on there, but it's very pretty. Um, oh. On here it says it's Pavlidis Dark Chocolate. The single most famous dark chocolate bar in Greece. Love for being rich in antioxidants and 43% cocoa. So, so you put your drink down there, lady. Okay. Yeah, dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to like this. I'll give you a piece here. A piece of dark chocolate. It is a good. Mm-hmm. It is a good. Very good. Packaging is all in Greek. Um, and I say that because yes. some of the packaging from some of these other countries, it's very Western, so we, um, it's a lot of English on it. But these, I noticed from Greece, um, Are there's a little or no, no English in any of this, so. So, our next one, I have no idea what this says, um, it's Gemista Strawberry, but I wouldn't know, again, because it's all Greek to me. <coughs> <laughs> there it is. I make myself laugh. I make my own jokes. It's all Greek to me. Um, this is two sweet biscuits 
sandwiched around a fluffy strawberry cream, a light fruity twist on a classic Greek dessert. And let's open this up. This is packaging pretty tight. Ready? Go ahead, take a bite. Look good? The packaging took a while for me to, uh, to undo. Very crumbly. Very strawberry. Yeah, it's a sandwich cookie with a strawberry filling, which is uh, uh, very delicious. Okay, second. A little strawberry mm -hmm. shortcake. Kind of a strawberry shortcake thing. Looks good. All right, what do we got here? Pretzels. These look like pretzels. Let's see if I got this one. It's, Pick must be a a brand name. Pick. Pick. But Tony's. Batonettes. Crunchy pretzel sticks covered in just the right amount of roasted sesame seeds. It's different. Perfect for when you get the munchies on the go. There they are. Let's see here. Try one of these. Good. Good, but different because it's got the sesame seeds on. That definitely tastes the sesame seeds. More towards the end. Not when you first bite in. First bite in, tastes like a regular pretzel, then you get the sesame seeds. And I like it. I think we should have more of these in the States. I could I definitely. Like to. I would buy these. So would a lot of people. Mm. It tastes like a pretzel. It is a pretzel, but I like the sesame taste on it. Justin's going to try it, see how, what he thinks. Okay, so our next here, we got... Nougat. It's in English. It says soft nougat. Do we have that one on there? Here it is. Janus soft nougat. The creamy almond-made nougat you love with a twist. Enjoy the flavors of cinnamon, apple, and crunchy peanuts in this yummy snack. Hmm. It's a nougat. It's like a kind of a bar. It looks like white chocolate or something. But soft nougat, there it is. Yeah. This is interesting. Alright. Do you like it? It's alright. Not my favorite. Certainly some other snacks in here. There, I thought I thought were better, but um, not bad. Not bad taste. You could try it. Yeah, Justin's gonna try it. Okay, Justin's giving us the next one, which is called Derby. Derby. Carm. Derby bar. Derby caramel. Ion. I O N. I don't know what that is exactly, but we're gonna read about this. It's a rich coconut filling in the core, layered with crunchy puffed rice and then drenched in Ion Milk Chocolate. I don't know if that's a brand name, but uh, let's give it a shot. This is a, a Greek um, candy bar. Let's see. Break a piece off for Lynn. Here you go. Piece off for me. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Something different in there. I don't know what it is. Good egg, please. But definitely good tasting. Good tasting bar. Okay, this is our last one, Lynn. And I have no idea what that says. Um, it is uh, Choco Freda. Choco Freda. Freda. That's what it says here. I doubt you can read that. Um, light and crispy wafers smothered in milk chocolate and tiny hazelnut pieces. The perfect sweet treat. Choco Freda. Give this a shot. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, 
I didn't get it open all the way. Some of the packaging isn't that easy to open up. That's why I learned from the first one to just grab a pair of scissors. There you go. This one, this one cracks open a little easier. That's mine. Oh, you really like it. He's going for another. What do you think? I think it's delicious. <laughs> Lynn's good. Hey, um, is anybody out there ordering from uh, <coughs> local restaurants? You okay? Is there anybody out there ordering <coughs> from local restaurants? Because we're going to do that this weekend. We're going to order our Easter dinner from a local restaurant. Uh, I think tomorrow we're going to order bagels from another local bagel restaurant. And we're the thinking bagel of. Bagel group. Yeah, I think we're going to order uh, some uh, wine or something from a local liquor store that delivers. So we're going to do that. I've never done that before, but we're going to do that now to patronize these local businesses. So that wraps up this video. So, Opa, everybody. You say Opa in Opa. Greece? Yeah. And you enjoyed the snacks from Greece? Yep. Okay. So, we'll see you next, next time, time on, on The Ling Life. Life.